if we want to convert 3.8 inches per second into feet per minute, this would be much the same as what we saw in the last video, 3.8 inches per second. We want to convert inches to feet, and since inches are on the top, we want inches on the bottom. We can go directly from inches to feet, because I know it's 12 inches per one foot, so there's my conversion from inches to feet. And I want to go from seconds to minute, that's an easy conversion. I know that there's seconds will be on the top, because it was on the bottom. And there's 60 seconds in one minute, so that's the fraction I want. Seconds will cancel with seconds, and you can see I only have feet per minute left over. So that's how I know that I can go ahead and type this into the calculator. 3.8 times 60 is the top part of my fraction. 12 is the bottom part of my fraction. We end up with 3.8 times 60 divided by 12, which gives us 19. This is 19 feet per minute. One last example here. If we have 160 RPM and we want to convert it to revolutions per second, well, RPM, this is just revolutions per minute, 160 revolutions per minute. Um, this is actually probably an easier example. We just want to convert the minutes to seconds. So I want minutes on the top part of this fraction since it was on the bottom, which means seconds will go down here. We'll go 60 and 1. So you can see we just need to, uh, well, revolutions don't cancel at all. Minutes will cancel with minutes, and we'll end up with revolutions per second. And, well, 160 divided by 60 which will give us oops, 160 divided by 60, which gives us 2.6 repeating revolutions per second. Of course, if we were told to round on this one, we'd probably need to round this off to, what, 2.7 revolutions per second, because, you know, that's rounding to two significant digits. But we didn't have any instructions to round, so I'm just going to leave it exact.